Hi, I am at the test stand where we have the Echo Rockets first stage demonstrator. In the dynamic uh, test stand, we are going to release the hoist from the vehicle and uh, suspend the vehicle in the cords. The cords that are going to provide the safety harness for the vehicle in case that uh, we will not be able to properly control the landing engine uh, of the vehicle during the first vertical takeoff and landing uh, sequence. We are going to have the test readiness uh, review on Monday and uh, fuel the vehicle on um, Tuesday and uh, most probably next week we are going to have the first uh, VTOL test for uh, this vehicle. Uh, so basically what we are going to do, we are going to keep the vehicle at a distance of around 4 meters from the concrete uh, pad and uh, when we are going to start the um, landing engine, the vehicle is going to go up for a uh, height of around uh, 3 meters and uh, then we are going to attempt landing the vehicle as uh, smooth as uh, possible. So uh, let's see how this is uh, going to work. But um, yeah, obviously we are optimistic and we think we did uh, everything uh, right and uh, we are going to have a successful flight. But uh, for now, let's uh, see how we are going to um, remove the hoist from the vehicle and uh, put the vehicle in the um, cords that are uh, directly attached to the dynamic uh, test stand and at the bottom of the vehicle we are going to have uh, another uh, 12 uh, cords that are preventing the vehicle from going through the dynamic test stand in case that we will not be able to properly control the thrust modulation for the landing engine. We've mounted the restriction cords at the bottom of the vehicle and these are connected to the concrete uh, pad in four uh, points. These are the same cords used for the LAS25DA engine and uh, in this case they are going to be way more loose compared with uh, what we have with the previous uh, test of the LS25DA engine. So we are going to see a clear uh, vertical takeoff and landing for the vehicle. We are lowering now the vehicle. The vehicle is now uh, suspended in the cables from the hoist. After this, the vehicle is going to be tethered in the top cords from the dynamic test stand. So that's it for now. If you found this video interesting, consider subscribing to our channel and support this video series on Patreon. This will give you access to exclusive content and connection with the team.